All right, welcome sport fans. We are doing another video vlog for the Half Baked Sports that we've started up this year. Um, I got my friend John on here on my left, my friend Kendall here on our right, and we're gonna be bringing you some content because my friend Kendall here has some questions about sport betting. And uh, so uh, what what you got, Kendall? Uh, yeah, I've always, always wondered why I haven't been big into gambling and started out. But, you know, when it comes to betting, I know when it, sports of all, all things, wouldn't you gentlemen both agree that people are definitely chiming in on that? Oh, and yeah. I mean, good. it's it's already proven that it's a yeah. billion-dollar industry when it comes to sport betting. And that doesn't even count the little $5 or $20 yeah. side bets that... People have going people on. People have going yeah. on the side so, of the betting that they're trying to make the real money on. Uh, exactly. Yeah. So, so obviously, uh, when it comes to sport betting, uh, there are some nuances on it. Obviously, we're talking specifically sports book dealing with Vegas or various websites mm -hmm. that are out there. Oh, and uh, you know, because obviously, when it comes to the nice little five dollar, twenty dollar between friends, right, doesn't doesn't apply to this topic. But go ahead. Uh, what's your first? Question: what, what would you like me to cover first? Well, I know I'm not big time like uh, the Vegas gambling or anything of that nature, but put an extra twenty, forty dollars in my pocket, of course, for gas money, something to eat that night or something. Mm -hmm. And my little come up, I'm definitely interested in some of the things that uh, you guys have been doing. And number one, I just want to know some of the the terminologies of how it's meant to be said. Uh, first one would be the point spread. Okay, um, as we all know, teams are not built the same. Right. And speculation comes into this. Right. So that's why there's a point spread. The goal of the bookies are to get the, the even action mm -hmm. on okay. both sides of the game. So that's why when you have a complete mismatch, case in point, back when Steelers were dominant with A.B. And, oh, uh, yeah. and Bell, you know, they were always getting a decent spread, especially at home. And, that was, and the reason that they come up with these spreads is to help uh, betters entice them to take the other line because as we yeah. know any given Sunday any uh, team yeah. can win yeah. I mean I mean, how many times I wonder how many times Cleveland last year ruined the sports book because <laughs> Pittsburgh didn't cover that spread yeah. That's good. I, I so, go one, I'll give you one example of earlier this year uh, the Texans uh, Saints game very first game mm -hmm. I think it was uh, Texans plus three or minus three or something like that I would have to double check the but I'm just saying like you know and I think it was a seven point game uh, or close to that. So whichever team had the plus or minus three, uh, from what I got from it, you can clarify this for me. If you have the plus or minus three and say you lost by three, and say Houston lost by three, they were plus three, that does that's a tie. That would be a tie. Uh, exactly. Yeah. So and I was going to get into that. So when it comes to point spreads, uh, I do have an example. This week, right? You know, we have the Giants, who yeah. although aren't that great, that great, but have. Shown some promise. Yeah. They are a the, the point spread for that game is six and a half. Now, the favorite team has got the minus, right? So minus six and a half. Mm. The the underdog would be plus six and a half. This is yeah. where the terminology comes into. Do you want to take the points with the Giants? Which is that's the terminology. Right. You take the points with the Giants because you don't you think it's gonna be a close game, okay. or you lay the points with Detroit. You see that that's the way it is. Now when you take six and a when you Lay the six and a half with the with Detroit. That means they have to win by seven or more in order for you to win your bet. Okay. So if you put ten dollars down on Detroit minus six and a half, and you win, more often than not, it's pretty close to even money, but it's not exactly even money. Right. Basically, you usually get what they call a minus ten, um, and that or minus one ten, which means you will win nine dollars on your ten dollar bet. So you bet ten to make nineteen. Basically, but yes. If you bet because 100, you need your $10 back plus if you bet 100, you make 90. Yes. Okay. okay. So, the, it basically, on, on that kind of and bet, the more you bet, it, the more you make. Okay. Yes. And the reason, and of course, when you take the point spreads, then that's almost always close to even money. Usually, it's somewhere around the minus 110 mark. Right. Even on the plus side. Sometimes, you get lucky and you get even money. And uh, in these kind of games, anytime you get even money or better on a team you like, mm -hmm. that's usually a favorable outcome. Okay. Um. Now, the other side of that, let's say you don't like to deal with point spreads because sometimes that can get tricky and sometimes confusing. You want to go with a straight win or loss. Yeah. This is where you go. This is the other side of the point spread. It's called the money line. So whenever you look at sports betting, you're going to look at the money line and the point spread. Okay. Um, the money line is straight up win-loss. Now, because Detroit's favored, 
they have a minus 290. This is the American standard uh, reference. Uh, you know, the, in the Europeans, they use a decimal system, which mm -hmm. I'm somewhat familiar with, but I really wouldn't do it justice if I tried to explain it. But the American system, which is minus, like with the Detroit, it's minus 290. And with the uh, New York Giants, it's plus 245. Now, as you can see, that's not even. Mm -mm. That's intentional because the, num the line that I got is off of a website, and that's how they make their money. Bookies back in the day would make money off of what they call it, the VIG. Yeah. Okay? Which means that you're paying to use their services. Yes. And uh, with, with, I know that web, with the websites, they have it built into the, to the money line. Mm -hmm. Okay. That would okay. Make sense. So, uh, yeah. So basically. It's like that uh, FanDuel or. Uh, no, no, no. Well, FanDuel. Well, FanDuel actually, no. Different. FanDuel did come out with some sport betting things. I haven't dealt with FanDuel since they've added that, so I don't know exactly what's on that website. So when you go when you go with the, the like your bet like you call it the money line, I'm betting say you got okay, Detroit, the Giants. Mm -hmm. I'm a Giants fan. I want the Giants to win. I'm betting on my team just to win. I'm not betting mm -hmm. for the point spread, nothing like that. I'm mm -hmm. putting all my money on the Giants to win. So all your twenty bucks. Well <laughs> we're <laughs> cheap. Just just twenty now. Yeah. <laughs> Only twenty dollars is all we can afford. But if it's I go, if I go with that twenty bucks on the Giants, say, yes. and you got the you got the two forty five to two ninety, and the Giants pull it out. Okay, good question. Now, as we discussed, the favorite team is was minus two ninety, and mm -hmm. the underdog is plus two forty five. Yeah. Now, the way to do this is to put that decimal point at right after the hundred, right? Mm -hmm. So two forty five would be two point four five. If you multiply your cash bet by 2.45, that's what you win. That's what you'd be winning. Okay. Now, that's the easy one. Unfortunately, the minus side of things is a little bit more difficult to describe. You can't do it that way. Yeah. The best way I can say is that when you see a minus sign, that's what it's going to take to win 100 bucks. Now, you can okay. decimal it down to like, for instance, uh for every two dollars and ninety cents on Detroit, because it's mm -hmm. minus two ninety, you win. A you dollar. win a dollar. That's how it. Re so in order for huh. so basically, so for the minus side is if you bet two hundred ninety dollars, you win and they win. You only win a hundred. You only win a hundred. Versus if you bet twenty dollars or forty dollars for the the plus two forty five, you win more than that. But your team because has you're, to you're going, win the game. But you're going with without the underdog. The, without the plus or the minus. Yeah, yeah. Right. So so then that, that's where it gets a little kind of confusing. And by all means, if you guys have, want me to clarify something more, please leave commentary down below and we will get to you. Uh, but that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Uh, if you see a minus sign, whatever it is, that's what it's going to take to win the $100. Now, if you move the decimals around, you can reference that the same way with $10, $1. But... Ultimately, that's what it is. Well, Josh, get get to the number two uh, on the list that we were going right. to talk about. So the next one, yes. Over and under. Over and under. All right. This is actually a very popular form of betting, uh, especially back in the day where we saw lots of points. Mm -hmm. You know, offense has ruled the rage. Um, so basically what they do is these sport bettors, these sport bookies, they come up with what they think the game total will be. Okay. And so in, in, in the example that we used earlier with the New York Giants and Detroit, the over-under is put at 49 and a half. Now, the half is actually kind of important to note because anytime you have a half, then that means that there is no tie. Yeah. Which in the point spread realm, if it was minus six and they win by six, that's a tie. You get your money back. Everybody's right. happy. But the half, loses. the half, there cannot be a tie. But at the half, there cannot be a tie. So it's got to either be over 49, because uh -huh. 50 wins, or 59 and under. Because that's where you go. If it hits 49, you're good. Right, right. You get that extra point, you lose, depending on where you put your money. Yeah. Um, and there's only two choices. You either go over the number or you go under the number. And uh, that pretty much is the easiest bet that you can And make. I think that's the one that everybody's always talking about. The, oh, I took the over. Or I took the under. under yeah. And it is a very popular and form. And you can, you can actually bet that one with your friends also. And it's simple. Yeah. Um, the betting line, you can go on any bookie site, whatever. You get the, get the, the, the over and under. And you say, well, hey, man, I'm going to put $20 over on under. Well, I'm going to take, take you on that bet. And I'm going to take the over. And you just mm -hmm. beat your friend out of $20. So, exactly. Mike, just so in case you're watching, 
<laughs> I'm gonna take the under. You take the over, and I'm gonna take. I'm gonna see my twenty bucks on Wednesday. <laughs> there we go. So, but yeah, it is the most popular form of betting amongst okay. people, especially beginners. And it's actually the easiest to understand. Right? And yeah. it's close to even money. Like I was pointing out earlier, anytime you can get close to even money on any bet, yeah. it's worth looking at and worth considering. Okay. All right. And so, and the third option. Parlay. Parlay. Now, this comes in all forms. You can do, parlay is nothing more than adding a team, adding another choice. Mm -hmm. uh, parlays, you can usually do point spreads, money lines, over-unders. You can do anything you want. Mm. But the problem with the parlay, all your choices have to win in order for you to get paid. Okay, so here's a three. No I'm, matter what. I'm, I'm going to give you an op, a, 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 a three-team a three, a three team parlay. Okay. New England. This week, who are they playing? Look on. Let, let's go here. All right, uh, New England is playing Cleveland this okay, week. Okay, so we. I'm gonna say. Matter of yeah. fact, I, since I have my website open, oh, okay. let me go ahead and I'll put in, and I'll, we'll see the odds as well of a parlay. We're only okay. doing a three team parlay. Three team, three team parlay. Mm -hmm. And because uh, I might actually put some money on this. One. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So if in, the odds are perfect, no. <laughs> New England. It's never that easy. So New England right now is favored twelve and a half, which means they have to win by twelve. Twelve. Oh, 13. no, that's 13. 13 because of the half. Because of the half. Yeah. So they have to win by 13 in order for you to win this bet. And so, they're playing against who again? Cleveland. Cleveland. Okay, I, I, I'm, that's one of mine. Keep in mind, <laughs> they've been covering their point spreads, even the ridiculous 22 yes. points, uh, the last three weeks. They so, even covered the Buffalo point spread. Can you believe that? Mm. Anyway, so we got so we got New England shows. Okay, who pick another team. Well, who do you like for Oakland and Houston? I got Houston. 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 I'm going to say Houston. Houston's minus six they and a half. And they're playing in Houston, so I would take that take one on. Minus, all right. Minus, okay. And uh, what else? Give me another one. I want to go with Pack a hard one. Packers Chiefs. That's not a hard game. Mahomes not playing. That's not a hard oh, game. Shit. But that. Matt Moore is not bad. It's not bad. They Charger, okay. The Chargers game. The Chargers, that is a tough one That's to pick. I want to put all right. I want to add. So who, are we gonna, who are we going to flip a corner? Or are we going to pick somebody? Uh, I'm gonna go with the Chargers. We go to majority rules. I'm gonna go with All the right. Chargers. Chargers are 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 given four points. Mm. So, so that would be a good. That would all, be they a good do, all they, all they gotta, gotta do. All they gotta do is keep it close. Keep it close. As long as they don't lose by more than a field goal, you'll get that bet. Yeah. So that's just three. Now with each one, because obviously now the odds are going to be big mm -hmm. because we have three teams that need to cover right. versus the one. So the odds are going to mm -hmm. be. Exponentially higher. And you have one game that potentially everybody's looking at, like New England's going to handle this one. But so, then the Houston so with and these, other teams, it's with a these three mindset. specific selections, yeah, we have a uh, a winning of five point nine six. So, so almost six to one odds on the three teams. So coming for a hundred dollars, you win five hundred sixty bucks. Shit, five hundred ninety six. I'm sorry, five hundred ninety six oh. bucks. So for the inflation. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, like I said, Whoa. these are the things that I need to know. Yeah. Because um, be honest with you, I've always wanted to bet with Josh because I trust his knowledge on this on these betting. But I always want to put my own little little scenarios in there. The parlay one, I think we should start doing. Well, it definitely gives you great it odds, gets, but unfortunately, you know, when you add that, that means that the you have to be on point with your yeah. picks to the point to where there is no there but, is no doubt. But yeah. at, at the same token, because yeah. all, all it takes all it takes is one team it's and like, has three, and yeah. you don't get anything. Don't get you. You so don't get in, anything. in the three games I just picked, look, what he just said in mm -hmm. the three games I just picked, if the only one I'm really concerned about was the the, the one I made a hard one because I loved a challenge. Right. So I made a, I made a hard pick for the, for a simple reason that I want to take the chance of. Feeling something if I lose, okay, you know, and you like that it's easy to pick winners, you know. <laughs> yeah. It's it's a, on the schedule this week, but, and you but know Atlanta's it, Atlanta's not going to do jack shit, no. so it's easy to say New Orleans, Atlanta, did, 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 did. Mm -hmm. but and you want if you are a true gambler to me, if you are a true gambler, you want to throw one little curveball in there just to get your well, blood pumping. You know? uh, obviously, yeah. you know because not only can you do these with point spreads, you can only you can also do these with money lines. So let's yeah. say that you have a lot of these heavy, you know. Like, obviously, New England's getting probably a huge money line. Yeah. Right? We're talking maybe even something like 10 to 1. I don't know what it is. Let me let me take a quick well, look. I don't think they'll get 10 to 1. I think the, it'd be the opposite for whoever they're playing. Well, I mean, 10, 
you would bet 10 to win 10 one. one. Okay. That, that's what I'm yeah. saying. So yeah, I, I did. I apologize. I did use the wrong terminology there. But okay, it wasn't that that drastic. Right now for the money line, it's minus 600 for New England, which means you would have to place six dollars to win one dollar yeah or sixty dollars to, to win ten dollars and six hundred dollars to win one hundred dollars wow. and if you do that you huh. really are just gambling to be gambling you're not yeah. trying well, to make no money on it you're not but, trying well to i mean if you think about it that is that is a safe bet it's I mean, a safe yeah. bet you know new england's going to come in they're at home they're they, i mean they're favored at home right i right. you know to be to be in that position, it's just a matter of risk versus reward. Do you but really want to risk sixty dollars to win ten? Yeah, or do you that, really that's want the question. Yeah, and it's same, that would it. be the same thing for six hundred dollars to win a hundred. Is that it doesn't make any sense to make this bet, right? Unless you just like gambling on the Patriots. Well, and they do make a commentary in some uh, betting forums where, ideally, you know, when you come when it comes to sport betting. You need to do better than 60% on your bets in yeah. order to be a winning sport better. Yeah. Um, I am not there yet. More often than not, I lose my little investment by the end of the season. <laughs> but but my $5 and $10, I, you know, it gives me some pleasure, uh, especially if yeah. I manage to hit a couple of Now, I have now. to say this. Yeah. I just vouched for this man. <laughs> and he just basically told me to my face, dude, don't trust me don't when trust I come me. to bed. <laughs> But I'm saying, in the scenario I just put forward, I was just doing this for the simple fact that I really believe the Texans are going to win their game. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, re I know New England's going to win their game. Right. I right. put the hard bet in there because the Chargers have not been playing too, to too that well potential. to up that to potential. Their potential. Yeah. They should and have been the, able to. The team they're yeah. playing against has not, not been playing up to that potential. Mm -hmm. But it makes for a great game to watch. Exactly. So right. when you're watching these heart attack games and you're already a fan, and then you know you got money on the line, it gets <laughs> yeah. your blood pumping. Yeah. And then when you win, it's woo! I got the yeah, you know. And then okay, uh, ching ching money yeah. and all that. Right. So and, that's why that's what I would like to do. And at the end of this segment, I will give you my uh, the biggest bet I've ever placed on sports and the outcome. And you'll appreciate this because <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, did you win money first. I, I did win the money. Okay, but, uh, but, anyway. <laughs> but we'll but we'll get to that here in a minute. Okay. The last thing I want to cover, and it's very similar to the parlay, and it is the teaser. teaser. Mm, now this is the one I don't have. I've heard him talk about it. I still don't get it. Okay, it, it's actually quite simple. When it comes to the teaser, you were teasing the line. You're trying to boost it up or boost it down, depending on who you're taking. Now, the more often than not, you have a couple of different options. You have six points, six and a half points, or seven points. Those are your main three. Now, there is a 10-point teaser, but you're limited to three choices on most bookies. So, uh, it, it comes in very handy if you, you know, want to you know, uh, minimize your risk because mm -hmm. those 10, those 10 points that you're given mm -hmm. to shift your line, whichever way you want to go could mean a win or a loss in a lot of these games because most, most games are decided by 10. Okay. So, uh, okay. so those are your three options. Um, and of course, depending on which option you choose, if it's six points or six and a half points, um, those will obviously give you bigger odds than a seven or a 10. Okay. And of course you'll just have to manipulate it to see, you know, which one you would rather do. Okay. So, like, for me, uh, so what I'm getting... Actually, we can use our example. Okay, yeah. From the last one, because uh, uh, in, in my website here, uh, we've already got those ones selected. Yeah. And if you go to the betting menu, we've already looked at what it is for, for the parlay, you know, multiple options. Yeah. Cool. Now, if we go down here, there's an option to pick your teaser. Now, if you... Right now, it's set on six. So, those three teams that mm -hmm. we've selected... With the adjustments. So now, this is how it works. Six point adjustment. Now New England is minus six and a half, not minus 12 and a half. Uh -huh. Which means they need to win by seven or more. Houston. So if it's, if it's a close game and New England pulls it out by a touchdown. Then they win. That teaser actually boosts the money. Okay. The money, the, well, the more know. money you can make. No, it doesn't boost the money. Oh, it okay. actually reduces the money because now we're adding more points to it. Oh, so, okay. So because we're like shifting that. those points... We're not getting the six to one odds oh, okay. that we were getting before. We're going to get quite fewer, but it reduces our risk when it comes to the outcome of the game. Oh, okay. So now instead of covering 12 and a half, he needs to cover six, six and a half, six, which six, means yeah. winning by seven or more. Right. Now the Houston Texans were favored six and a half, yeah. which means now they just need to cover a half a point, meaning they only need to win. Oh. And uh, so with the last and final one, the Los Angeles Chargers being given four, four points. points. 
You add six to that. Now they're given ten. So they, so they can 10 lose points, the game by a touchdown 10, and they still win. They can lose the game by nine and still cover that spread. Mm. And, and all three teams have won. And if all have, three teams come through on those selections, we would be getting plus 170. So almost a two to huh. one return on our money, which is, you know, so, it's not as good as the six to one, yeah. but it's still pretty it's a still pretty good return. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and now with, now I have a better understanding of the teaser. I'm actually, uh, before we go to Lake Charles in two weeks, uh, I'm just letting you know. I'm Unfortunately, going. they don't have a sport book. No, 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 no. But, no. You, you, have, you have a sports book. Yeah. He so, has a sport so, book. All right, and so. we're going to use this before we leave. We're going to drop a little cash down here on a, <laughs> on a teaser as well as a, a straight pick. Put three teams, all right. and we'll see what we come out with. And we'll let you guys and, know on week nine and, what and, we did. And a man of my word, the biggest bet I ever placed. Uh, I was this was one of my first couple of years of betting. I uh, and I found a bet that I liked. It was Baltimore Ravens hmm. against the Houston Texans. Oh wow! Crap. Minus two and a half. I'm not gonna like this story. I'm Minus two know. and a half. I'm not going to like this story. Or no, I'm minus three and a half. And, uh, or minus three. That's what it was. Minus three. It goes into overtime. I had $200 on the game because I got so fed up with how bad I was playing. I had recently lost like 150 over the last couple of weeks in $10, $20 bets. Wow. And, I, and so I'm like, I'm done. I'm just going to go. Just bet it all. All or nothing. And go home. And I put my entire two something on the Baltimore Ravens to cover three points. <laughs> it was an overtime. They had to Here punt the ball. Schaub was on his own ten yard oh, line. Lord, he gonna bring a match up. And they throw a pick six, and I win. At that point in time, I was just praying for a field goal. Yeah. That way, I could go home and get my money back. But yeah. I told y'all I wasn't going to like this. <laughs> but, and I didn't even know what the outcome was going to be, but I knew I wasn't going to like it. Yeah. But yeah, and, and uh, it, it does add a little bit more. Memories, sure. it, it does add a little bit more excitement, but risk and reward, keep an eye on it. And with anything, exercise money management. Uh, you should never have more than 30% of your bankroll on any given week. <laughs> and definitely no more than 10% of your bankroll on any Maybe given game. Yeah. Those, I think, I'm, might be a little off on the numbers, but I think those are the, the standards that most people implement. But also remember, on any given Sunday, anybody can win. That uh, is true. That's, that's true. I agree with that. All right, gentlemen. I think that wraps it up for the sports betting terminologies. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments, and we will definitely try to answer them for you. Um, also, don't hesitate. There's plenty of books out there. There's plenty of websites out there. And... Uh, do the research for yourself and see if you uh, come up with the right information like we did. Yeah, we mm. yeah. All right, we're out. It helps to have your own expert, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just so Not an know. expert. <laughs> just dabble. <laughs> that was fun. I ain't going to lie.